coach and high-profile marriage to Spice Girl Victoria, David Beckham is the most famous soccer player on the planet. He was a prodigy by age 11 and just 14 years old when he signed a contract with England's most famous team, Manchester United. He was 21 when he scored this memorable 57-yard goal. Beckham! Known for his trademark free kicks, the 32-year-old soccer sensation's unique ability to bend the ball in mid-air inspired the hit movie, Bend It Like Beckham, making David Beckham a household name in America. After an impressive career in Europe, David signed a five-year contract with the Los Angeles Galaxy, said to be worth $250 million in salary and endorsements. David, his wife Victoria, and their three sons were coming to America. Since the Beatles has there been so much anticipation of a British import and Americans just can't seem to get enough of all things Beckham. Please welcome the one and only David Beckham. for the screaming because we knew that was going to happen. So, it, it, and that happens everywhere you go, I assume. Um, most places, yeah, but it's nice. It's great. Uh, of course it's nice. It must feel very good that they love you so much. No, it's amazing. It yeah, really is. Yeah, yeah. You're easy on the eyes. You really are. <laughs> and I apologize. It is so hot in here, so if you want to take off anything... <laughs> Anytime, interrupt me if I'm talking or you're just take off whatever you need to because okay. it's, it's really totally fine. Okay. All right, so your wife was here and we had a lot of fun and she gave me a, a gift of Jimmy Choo shoes. Yes. Um, and she, I think, uh, yeah, there we are together. And she wore my shoes. I've been trying to get her in those. Did she, she won't wear years. tennis no, shoes, will she? she? Won't. I've been trying to get her in them for years, but. No. She won't do it. High heels all the time. Isn't it interesting that she will? It, do you, what, what happens when you go out and do something athletic? She wears the heels. No. <laughs> yep. If you bike ride? She tries. She tries to bike ride in heels? Yep. Now, can you do things like that? Because it seems like you have three boys, yeah. right? Well, we, we have to because I think, you know, we want the boys brought up in the most normal way as possible. And, uh, you know, we, we try and do as much normal stuff with them as possible. And going to the park and bike riding is something that the, the boys love doing. And they're athletic or? Yeah, very, yeah. very. Now, would you be mad if they weren't? Like if none of them wanted to play soccer? No, not at all. You know, they, they are they're into their sports, but they're also, you know, the middle one, Romeo, he's, he's the entertainer. So, mm -hmm. he's, you know, he loves dancing, he loves singing. So, um, yeah. They're all into break dancing at the moment, which is quite funny. Oh, really? Are yeah. they good? Yeah. Well, Ro Cruz, the the youngest one, he's free. He uh, he got up on stage at Madison Square Gardens and just started break dancing. That must be big, adorable. It is. But the funny thing is, he's been you know the, from the moment he wakes up in the morning, he just spins on his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> till he goes to till he goes to sleep at night, yeah. and it's hilarious to see because he's only three years old. So. Yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> At some point, he I should know. stop, because <laughs> you might want to check that out. He just yeah. gets up and spins on his head? Yeah, suppose yeah. he just runs, takes a run, and then spins, and then jumps. Yeah. And Romeo, that's a great name, but that's pressure for him. He, he's, yeah. uh, but yeah. they're all gorgeous. They're, yeah, they're, they're beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, they are. And now, uh, when Victoria was here, I said, do you want to have another baby? And she said, after the tour. And the tour ended in February. Yeah. It's April, so <laughs> any, any babies? Um, not yet, but no. uh, we're work, we're working on it. You want more? Of course, you know right. we're 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 very family orientated. So mm -hmm. you know we've always wanted a big family, which was was weird because when we first got together, 
we never even discussed how many children we wanted, but it just it's worked out that you know we want a big family and you know we love kids, so it's worked out perfect. Well, when you met, because I read that you knew right away, you met her, and or you, before you met her, you yeah. you saw her, and she was more famous than you, yeah. and yeah, you, you were was. kind of just about to to break big, and yeah. so you saw her and said, "That's the one I want." Well, the Spice Girls had, had been together for for a few months, and obviously, you know, they were so huge and I just wanted to meet one of them and, and yeah, the one I wanted yeah. to meet was Victoria uh -huh. um, and I was in I was in a hotel room with my best friend who was my best man at my wedding um, and I remember turning around before I'd even met Victoria um, and said I'm, I want to marry that one um, and that about one. <laughs> that one the one in the black dress the one uh -huh. with the bob um, uh -huh. and a few weeks later she came to a football match soccer match and um, I said hi from across the room and that was it and I thought I'd missed my chance and then a week later she turned up at another football match um, and she, uh, she, she had a few to drink and she gave me her number. <laughs> so, and then you've been together eight years now and well, are you... We've been married for almost nine and we've been together for 11. So. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And so are you still romantic? Do you both, I mean, look at that, look at that. <laughs> that's romantic. No, we are, you know, we've got obviously three beautiful boys, which is our priority, but I think it's always, you know, in a marriage you have to, you make it work and, and you know, to, you have to make time for each other and we do that. And so mm -hmm. I think that's, that's as important as obviously looking after our boys as well. Mm -hmm. God, that photo shoot, that spread was amazing, those yeah. pictures and W. enjoyed that shoot. Yeah, I bet you shoot. did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and those pictures, if you know what I'm talking about, there were some, some good pictures in there. One of them, I think, was in the package that we showed. Um, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! All right, so... And is it is it true? The reason I said you can take stuff off because I know you're more comfortable nude. I, I read that you're both <laughs> nude around the house all the time. Around the house we are, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I was doing when I was doing the Armani shoot, I was quite uncomfortable because I've never done a shoot before just in underwear. So mm -hmm. it was, it was, I was quite uncomfortable with it. Yeah? yeah, were you? You didn't look it. I felt it. <laughs> Is that now, but you uh, naturally, obviously, you're athletic and everything, but do you work out and watch what you eat, or you're just, your body is just that? Or do you feel the pressure because you have so many c campaigns where you're, it's all about your body? Does that give you any pressure? No, obviously, you know, I have to be fit for, for the soccer, and that's the biggest thing for me. You know, mm -hmm. the, the advertising things is something to the side, but I think the, the important thing is that I am fit for, for playing soccer. And, right. Uh, that works out the other way, too, for everybody. This is win-win, <laughs> really. All right, uh, we have to take a break, and we'll come back with uh, David Beckham, and probably he'll take something off. I don't know. <laughs>